Okay, so I'm just going to talk you through a couple of things that, that I've been using quite frequently in my uh, language teaching recently and, and also a couple of things that, that my department enjoy doing in their classes too. And the kids seem to get something from it also. Firstly, what's in front of us here is something which I call a whizzy loop activity. It's, a, it's a, essentially a PowerPoint presentation which, is, uh, which has come from a teach meet um, organised locally. Um, and I've just taken the file and adapted it. Essentially what it is is something which runs on a loop so, the, uh, so that each slide moves on to the next slide very rapidly. And when it gets to the end it just loops around and does it all over again. As you will see uh, when I press the F5 button here. So clearly what I then explain to the kids that, that we're going to do is that in the text that I've given them, and in this case the text has come from Xball for OCR, uh, and it's just a different way of approaching a text rather than just doing the questions that, that might happen to be, uh, to be there. And what I'm going to ask them to do is to try and find what is in the yellow box, that's in the text, and then in, in, in groups, they're going to try to uh, agree on and then write down on a, on a mini whiteboard the, uh, the sentence or the statement that is found in the green box below. This PowerPoint will stop when I press the S button. So, for example, I've got my friend Arthur is brown-haired and quite tall. That's going to be in the text, and what I then want the kids to do is to try and write down my friend Michelle is blonde and very tall. Now, obviously, what I'm looking for here is that they understand how to change adjective, uh, the adjectives in French, uh, and clearly the adjectival endings will be different for, for females than they are for males. So, as I say, in the text, my friend Arthur is brown-haired and quite tall. What I'm trying to write is my friend Michelle is blonde and very tall. Now, what, what I'm then going to do is I'm going to give the kids the opportunity to be writing their answers. What you see in front of you now is a visualised screen. This is using something called a TTS uh, Easy View Visualizer. So what the kids will be doing is trying to write their answers on a board like this. And what I might expect to find is my friend Michelle is blonde and very tall. So what I might expect them to write is... Mon copain, Michel, est blanc et assez grand, because that's what they might find in the text. So what I'll do is I'll spend time wandering around the classroom trying to find kids who've made just those kind of, kinds of mistakes. I'll also be subconsciously looking for the kids that haven't made those mistakes because obviously those kids are going to be the ones who are going to be correcting um, the kids who made the mistakes in the first place. So obviously what I'm going to expect to find then is that this word here, copain, is going to change to copine, which is the feminine version of copain. Then I might say to them, and do I then need to keep this because mon uh, is only used for, for masculine singular um, nouns, unless obviously it starts with a vowel. I might then say to them, does this start with a vowel? No, so what have I got to change it to? We then change that to ma. And the kids actually quite like the fact that you're uh, correcting something in front of them. Obviously this goes up onto a board, uh, an interactive whiteboard or a projector, uh, you know, same, same kind of effect. It's obviously very big. So ma copie Michel est blanc et, uh, et assez grand. I might then ask, well, what else needs to change? And what's going to need to change is clearly that we're going to add E's onto both of these adjectives. They then learn, um, if they've not already done so, it kind of reaffirms in their head how to change things from masculine to feminine, adjectives from masculine to, masculine to feminine. Um, I'll then go through and do something else, and then that might then lend itself to them writing their own. Where the focus will clearly be, make sure that if you're writing about a girl, that you're um, that you're going to be writing uh, using adjectives which have changed uh, into their feminine form. So those two things are things that I'm using at the moment in languages, the WYSI loop and the visualizer.